Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in today's Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 video and welcome to all the console people who are playing at exactly the same time as everybody on PC. Thank you very much for kicking by. Okay, so new things in CMS are, well, liquids and fuses. And the reason why this is important is because it's been a little while since we had like a massive update like this in a car mechanic game. When CMS 2021 was rattling on about all these new things, this is like, oh my god, new stuff, and this is where we're going. So, liquids and fuse. Fuse box is one of the ways of controlling the car. So, the alternator and the starter, when they are not working, normally you can see that and it's, you know, okay, it's, it's going to be one of the two things. And that sort of got very easy in 2018. Ah, the car don't start. Ah, so it's the alternator. Oh, it's not the alternator, so it's the starter. And that was basically our mental thinking. Now that this game has come out for 2021, we're now sitting there going, okay, so it could be the alternator, it could be the starter, or it could be the fuse box. Now, the fuse box is quite important now because these relays control the car's electricals. All of these fuses and bits and pieces in here control everything in here. So if one of your relays is gone, it's not. I think it's relay B that controls the starter. I can't really remember. But if relay A or relay B don't work properly, you need to change them. All these other things are like, you know, I mean, if you know anything about fuses in cars, that could be your car radio for all I know. That could be your, you know, window wipers. So all of these things control bits and pieces all around. If something doesn't work on the car and you've repaired it, chances are most of your problems are going to end up in here. So what we'll do is we'll mount that back on there. Yes, well, it's buggered anyway. So another thing with is liquids and well, well, liquid. So there are two things that you're going to have like problems with. Now, most of us have done this, where we used to go through a car, take off the water pump, and nothing ever used to really happen. When you've taken the water pump off, and all of a sudden you spilled it or your liquid, your coolant reservoir will empty all over the floor, and you'll be charged fifty credits for it. It's the same with all this. If you take off the power steering stuff, that'll be emptied as well. If you take the oil off and brakes and so on, so on. you get where I'm going on this. The only thing that sort of like we haven't got is still things like fuel lines, but I can feel those things probably being added in either this one or in 2020, whatever, when the next game comes out. But the idea between these is to make the game a bit more inclusive, to go, oh, well, we haven't done that, or we may have to try this as well. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's not very difficult, but yay, you know, for all those people out there who are still not sure of what to do with these, you basically, so what you have to do, is you right click, go over to your additional tools, click on the drain tool, and hold down the button. Then it comes up with this massive syringe, and all of that liquid that comes in that giant container ends up in a test tube. And it all just disappears into the ether, never to charge you any money ever again. Then we go back down to part unmount, we click the we click the little lid, and then we tip. Now for me, I normally I normally fill these within like a two thirds of how full that it should be. So that's where this is where it normally stops. That's where I stop it. I don't know why. It's just I like to go against the grain a little bit. And that's how you got to do. Now, when it comes to coolant, you might have the other radiator. And I'll show you the other radiator now. So the other radiator is radiator C. Radiator C has got this lip on top, which is where coolant goes as well. Now, the problem with that is if you haven't got one of these, the coolant reservoir A in your car, you'll have a radiator C. If you've got a radiator C, you have to use the drain tool on your radiator before you pull it out. If not, you'll get charged for it. So just keep an eye out. Older cars are going to have radiator Cs. The more modern vehicles are having these massive containers, so you'll be able, you'll be easier to find it. But don't forget, when it comes to radiator C, drain the radiator before removing it, or just you know drain it just so it, it's got clean fluid in it as well. The, the, my mentality when it comes to thinking now, when it comes to playing this game, is straight under the hood, take the hood up and drain all of the liquids out. If I have to do that as a mission anyway, I haven't got a problem. But if I have to do, if I do that straight away and then I have to uh, pull the engine apart, I'm not risking anything falling out of the car that's going to charge me money to lose. So I hope that basically helps you guys. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else I do on this channel. If you do want to help this channel at all, there's a little join button below. You can click that and you pay £2 a month and you help, feel, you help feed this poor little gamer. So thank you very much for kicking by. I'll see you all in another one. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. I'll see you all in another one. Bye-bye for now.